Well, the United States, as I, I said, has stood, stood strong with Canada on the unlawful detention of the two Canadian citizens. Uh, the Prime Minister and I spoke about it extensively today. Um, uh, and I can assure you that um, we'll continue to stand firmly in that position until those citizens are, are freed and uh, restored uh, to um, this nation. Let me say uh, President Trump uh, will be traveling along with the Prime Minister to the G20 uh, in the weeks ahead. Uh, we anticipate he will be meeting with President Xi there. We're in the midst of significant discussions uh, over our trading relationship. Uh, but I can assure you in, in that context and going forward, we're going to continue to uh, urge uh, China uh, to release the Canadian citizens, even while we deal with the larger economic and structural issues between the United States and China. We, we are, are standing with Canada in this effort. Uh, we respect and are grateful for the strong stand for the rule of law that Canada has taken with regard to the Huawei executive and um, uh, we'll continue to engage on the issue. The preoccupation that this government has, that all Canadians have, with uh, the situation of the two Canadians uh, detained in China in an arbitrary manner uh, is significant. And we have uh, reached out to allies around the world uh, to make sure that everyone stands together. And the United States has been particularly strong and vocal in its condemnation of these arbitrary detentions of Canadians uh, and in their support of Canada. But indeed, we're in a moment where uh, like-minded nations like Canada, the United States, and many of our European and international partners uh, have expressed their dismay. Uh, with the way China is uh, stepping forward uh, more assertively and indeed aggressively on the international stage. Uh, and we are all standing together to ensure that the rules are followed, that our values are upheld, and that China understands uh, that uh, the economies and democracies of the West are united in our condemnation of these arbitrary detentions for uh, to, in attempt to gain political leverage.